How y'all doing? It's Friday. No, it ain't Friday. I lost track of days I worked so hard. It's Tuesday. It's Tell the Truth Tuesday. I'm gonna tell the truth and shame the devil. That's my partner in crime. I ain't gonna say my partner in crime. He just be watching what I be doing. He my Starbucks buddy. We get coffee every day. He a long shoreman. He worked down there where the, where the bridge collapsed. You feel me? So we sit up here and we had conversations about politics and politicians. He ain't happy with Biden and he ain't happy with Trump. He ain't happy with the leadership where we going. He liked Bob Wallace though, but you know, you can't beat the machine unless you got enough money. So we're gonna do it like this. We got a pitch thing on uh, May 1st at the Motor House. And this is my pitch. I'm pitching Dred Scott. Y'all repeal Roe versus Wade. Well, we're gonna go after Dred Scott. We're gonna re repeal Dred Scott. We tore down the statues. Now we're going after institutions. And this is how we're gonna do it. At Starbucks, I do it. All right, I see you tomorrow. I do it at Starbucks every day. I get 30 minutes in here every day. That's Adam Host. So that's Adam from the Maryland Volunteer Lawyers for the Arts, and that's Governor Westmore I'm making a documentary about Governor Westmore, Dred Scott. Do blacks have rights in which white America respects? All right. Y'all charge me with terrorism. I'm not a terrorist. I'm an activist. Activism isn't against the law. That's St. Paul Schools. These are the supporters of shorties. And that's Governor Westmore. That's Governor Westmore. Sign or die. I asked you to sign or die, and you didn't do nothing about that. See that? 2023. That's Governor Westmore. This is my second letter to Governor, the state of Maryland, seeking justice, right? Like I said, Dred Scott, I was kidnapped by the state for making a documentary about your prison industry. That's Brooke Learman. We're talking about the money behind the machine. This is Baltimore County, the new face of old Jim Crow. Like I said, this pitch is about y'all. That's Ivan Bates, and Ivan Bates been using his position of power to block an investigation. My pitch is about Baltimore. See that? Dwayne G. Davis, Falls World. Dwayne Davis, get shorty. My pitch is about shorty. Sheila Dixon was city councilman when, she start, when I started this. I'm gonna talk about the corruption in Baltimore, and she at the head of the table. You stole from kids, now you wanna steal from the city. You don't deserve to serve. These are the supporters of shorties, you feel me? St. Paul School, graduating class 2006. Like I said, this is my second letter to Governor Westmore. That's Governor Larry Hogan, Speaker Jones, Bill Ferguson, Stephanie Smith, Attorney General Anthony Brown, Department of Justice Eric Barron, Mayor Brandon Scott, Scott Schellenberger, Ivan Bates, Justice Mary Barbera, Judge Karen, Judge Cox, Xavier Conway to court, and Bernard Bell. That's a writ of sociority, just like Dred Scott. I'm going to the Supreme Court. I asked for exoneration, you didn't give it to me. That's dated. I'm a political prisoner. That's Karen York, Job Opportunity Task Force. She did the criminalization of poverty. I went to Columbia University. You know, that's why I met Westmore. So that's Westmore. And that's Westmore. You wear the mask, you gotta put in the work. That's Eric Barron from the Department of Justice. We talking about that Al Capone type, type prosecution? Well, we're gonna talk about Al Capone and the play to play politics because Al Capone paid a lot of politicians off. That's the Maryland Board of Elections. We're talking about voter suppression by the Democratic and the Republican Party. That's the best of the best of Baltimore. And that's me. That's Joshua Harris, NAACP. All right, Raleigh from the NAACP. That's George Clinton, Parliament Funkadelic. That's Jeff Majors, TV One, Radio One. Art and activism, the art of protest. That's me, call it a ghetto Da Vinci Code, letters design, it's a movie. See the date, November, 20, November 27, 2023. Jim Jordan, the House Judiciary Committee. All right, and the last line of this is by Kwaizi and Fume. For more information, you about Mr. Davis, you can be found on Facebook, all right, or X, formerly known as Twitter. Thank you for your consideration for this matter and feel free to communicate with Mr. Davis directly. That's quite easy and Fume. So Governor Westmore, you got paperwork. Before the elections, you got to turn over all that information to the voters. If you don't, that's voter suppression and you the head of the state. You said no one left behind? Well, I'm still standing. I'm still waiting. I'm waiting for justice. That's Governor Westmore. That's sign or die. That's your paperwork, Governor.
So 2024, exoneration of the Supreme Court. I am Dred Scott. The book, the movie, the reality of being black in America.